iOS 14 brings a lot of new changes and those changes include a lot of new privacy options. Let me show you and explain to you how to stop applications from spying on you and how to use these new options for your benefit. If you are finding me for the first time, be sure to subscribe and learn something new that will help you make your tech life easier. Now, a while ago, I made a video like this one and it featured iOS privacy settings that you need to turn off. So if you are still running iOS 13, make sure you check out that video right now. But if you already have iOS 14 running on your device, just follow along. So whenever you install a new application in iOS 14, applications are going to ask you for permissions. For example, they might actually ask you to access the local network. And what that means is that if an app like Spotify or VLC media player uh, asks for access to the local network, it means they are trying to access any devices that they can utilize. For example, if it's, if it's Spotify, then it might actually need to access a speaker so that it can play, you know, play music through the speaker. So you can limit, you have control over which applications can access your photos and you also have limitations on which applications can access the local network and which applications can access your location. So in order to get started, we're going to go to our settings and just follow along with your device. Um, so we're going to set settings and then we're going to scroll down you will see uh, privacy. So if you type on privacy, you'll see these options. Uh, most of these options might s look a bit familiar, but so there are some new, uh, some new ones that have been added. So up at the top, you can see location services and then you see this option that says tracking. Now, before we get to locations, uh, location services and tracking. I just wanted to mention that down here you have options that are very important and there are some new ones that have been added. For example, like contacts, if you go to contacts, you can see which applications are accessing your contacts and some applications might not need to access your contacts. So in order, you just turn them off if you don't want them to access your contact. Same goes for uh, photos. Now, if you look at photos, there are several applications right now accessing my photo library, but you can see that some of them are just having selected photos. And then you see some, some are saying add photos only. So what this means is that some applications can only be given a right to add photos to your photo library and they are not given an option to, you know, edit or like, you know, have access, full access to your photo library. For example, like this uh, Adobe Draw, only has the option to add. It can only add photos, but it cannot manipulate any photos. Uh, it does so basically it does it doesn't have any right to access my photos. It only saves photos. Now, if you look down below, you can see the same uh, option is you know selected with Google Chrome. If you move down, you can see where it says Creative Cloud. Now, Creative Cloud it says selected photos. What this means is that. Creative Cloud is only getting access to a number of photos. And the good thing about this is that you can see down here, it says edit selected photos. So if you tap on that, you can see that you can add and remove the photos that can be accessed by th that application. So for now it's saying show selected three photos. That means that only three photos are being accessed by that application. So once you make the changes, you just click tap done and then go back. So adding photos only means that application can only add photos and it can't do anything else. Selected photo photos means that it can only have access to only a selected few photos. All photos means that it has access to the entire library and then none, it means it doesn't have any access to the library. So it's very important uh, when you, you know, when you install a new application, make sure you give it the right access that you need. And then we go back here. So if we go back here, you can see the Bluetooth. You make sure you turn off all the applications that you feel like they don't need access to the Bluetooth. And then we go back here, you can see local network. Now local network is a bit interesting because this, this option gives applications access to any devices that are on the same network. This is very important because once you give Facebook or Instagram 
access to devices that are on the same network it means they can be able to spy on your devices so make sure you turn this option off this is a no no for anyone um, so right now I have only one one application turned on and this is VLC uh, the reason why I have this turned on is because I use VLC to play files that are on a media um, that's that's on this local network that I'm on right now other than that if you don't know what you're doing with this you should turn this off because these applications are going to be you know listening to your to the activities going on with the other devices so make sure you turn this off right away and then the microphone uh, the microphone same same thing make sure you turn it off for all the applications that you feel like they don't need it, have access to the microphone they, they recently introduced uh, a new feature whenever you have whenever you have an application using your microphone you will see a green or a yellow uh, dot that means that something is using your microphone so for example let's try to call someone now as I try to call someone you can see that it's yellow so that means an application is using uh, my microphone and if I'm using my camera you can see that uh, it shows if now let's go back here to privacy and um, the camera app make sure that you only activate those applications that need to use the camera those you feel like you they don't need to you just turn them off now there's this new feature that has been added in iOS 14 called research sensor and usage data so if you tap on that make sure you turn this off now all the data being collected with you know with this option is being set to you know being sent to Apple so you want to make sure you just you know turn this feature off now if you look down here anything that says analytics improvements make sure you turn this off completely these analytics are basically you know to help Apple improve their you know products and services but you don't need to be the one providing this information so make sure you turn this off now we will scroll all the way up back here to tracking make sure that this is completely turned off now if we go to location services well first of all you need the location services to be turned on otherwise you won't be able to use any application that requires using the location but what you can turn off is some of these things that you feel like they don't need to use your um, your location say for example like I don't like when my camera app is using my location I don't like geotagging if you don't know what geotagging is you can look it up um, so I have that turned off now any application that uses the location for example like Google Maps you want to make sure that you check where it says while using the app so whenever you, if you have it turned on at always it means that it's going to be using your location even when you're not using the application now there's this new feature called precise location now precise location basically gives you uh, a precise location of where you are so if any app is using let's say if this was an app like Facebook I don't have Facebook installed but let's see so for example like if I have the weather application so with precise locations turned on it means the weather app is going to be able to pick up my real location my address where I'm st where I'm standing right now but if I turn this off it means this app is only going to get um, an approximate location basically it will get like an entire area maybe like a city where I'm at I think this is a great feature and it's going to be very helpful so that you know applications don't track you exactly where you stay or exactly where you are they can only have just you know a guess of the location you're in now if we scroll down all the way down here you see where it says system services so if we tap on system services you will see a bunch of options now I already have this turned off because I don't like to be tracked and I don't like it uh, when you know applications track me so you can see all these applications all these options are turned off and my phone still works great now the only option I have turned on right here is find my iPhone and the reason why I have that turned on is because in case I lose my phone I can easily locate it so this is very useful and you can also have emergency calls and SOS turned on but the rest you don't need all these locations turned off 
So significant locations, uh, let me type in my password here. You want to make sure that this is all turned off. Otherwise, this is going to keep track of all the locations that you go to. So make sure that's turned off. Same goes for these other up, um, options here, iPhone analytics, popular near me, routing and traffic. You want to make sure that you turn those off. The, this won't affect the way your phone operates. So those are some of the things that you need to turn off from the location services. Overall, Apple has done a great job of improving iOS 14 and it's been, you know, in helping customers protect their privacy. So make sure you make those changes. And if you find this very helpful, please give it a like leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe. Be sure to click on that bell to get notifications whenever I publish a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.